What's up you guys? Welcome back to my vlogging photography channel. I wanted to show you guys something. My living room situation. There you go. The piece that I told you guys that we were gonna get. I think I'm gonna turn the heater on. Are you cold? No. You're not? No. So we just got this from Bob's. I really I am not too fond of the color, although in the, in the camera it's going to look like white, but it's not. It's kind of like off, off beige, off white beige. It, it looks dirty. I did not see it like this when we went to the store, but oh well, I'm not going to complain. But anyway, it's real fire, well, electric, I think. I think it's light. Yeah, but it, when you turn it on, it, 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 it gives real heat and lights and it's just beautiful in the evening i'm not gonna do it right now because i haven't learned yet how to do it my husband would be no you're not touching it but it's it's beautiful look at this piece so there's like this is why i wanted it because it has all this storage don't and i just love this whole look barn look same so Look at all that storage. It's big. It's huge. And I thought I have to move the picture, but I guess I don't have to. But I'm excited because for Christmas now, I'm going to have room where to decorate and put the stuff. Put all the garlands and stuff in there. So I got to go home goods or somewhere and buy something there. More decor there. I'm probably gonna get rid of the pictures because there's one picture there, so this really doesn't go. And then we gotta get rid of that, put it somewhere, put that one over there. There's the situation right now <coughs> with her. She's camping because she's on spring break. What is it? Winter break, win yes. winter recess. So this is the old one. It's not old, it's only a year. We got this at Hobby Lobby. It's a beautiful piece. Anyone wants it? I'm actually selling it on Let Go. Um, let Go tomorrow. So, since she's camping here, it's a mess. But once I get it fixed, I'll show you guys how it looks. But here it is, even though it's a messy house right now. We just went to take, to get our passports in. And so, I got ready because we had to take passport pictures and I look horrible. I think her camera was whatever. Um, but they want like a minimal look, you know. There's my picture today. So as you can tell, it's a little yellow. I think her white balance um, was a little off. And then she didn't even tell me my hair is like a mess. I look fat there. But compared to how I looked October, I look better. I am getting there. I'm losing it. This is to go. I will see you guys later because I have to cook. And I don't know what to cook yet. I haven't decided. Okay. There's my first meal of the day. It's about... 12.30 I know it's so bright It's just chicken Not chicken It's just three eggs And avocado in the middle I mean in the, in the bottom Oh yeah What do you guys think? Looks good I had to change because <laughs> I just realized I had the same shirt as in my last video. This sandwich. I just wanted to make this video and talk about the news. He's got a record of cheating. The dude just won't stop. I wasn't surprised simply because I'm just like, girl, if he did it, to, he did it once, once a cheater, always a cheater. 
and um but I want to I don't want to talk about him I want to talk about Kylie's best friend your best friend where you have yeah I guess in the, it depends on the stage of your life like let's say if you're I'm just gonna eat let's say if you're like 20 friendship is different if you're 30 friendship is different 40 50 your friendship is different now if you have a friend that you've been friends with for over 20 like from since you were 20 in your teens and you're still friends with that's good that's a blessing and um that's what kylie thought she had you know but and you might think all oh, these things only happen to celebrities i don't think so i hear these things happening all the time um i know people who things like this happen to them all the time and i that's why um when you hear stories like that it, it just kind of like it's sad but you kind of like think twice who you kind of think twice who you let close in your circle especially if you're married or if you have a uh, boyfriend fiance and i'll tell you why i just have to take a bite okay mm. good why where did the sun go? Why? Because, um, well, you, you might say, oh, I know my man. But do you really know your man? My thing is, well, Chloe, she already went through something like, like this last year. I don't know how, why she forgave him. Who knows what? I'm all about forgiveness. But dude, if I know you did it once and twice or three times, I forgive you, but you're bye-bye. There's no more coming back. I am not gonna put myself through that. And plus when you have a kid, what are you trying to teach your kid? That it's okay to be cheated so many times? It's okay for, you, for men to do that to you? No, you wanna teach your daughter, your, your children, your kids that that's not all right, you know? I feel bad and this is like two different topics friendship that's right and there's so much you could talk about about this thing and I don't want to I don't want you to think that oh I'm using this story just like because everyone is talking about it but I'm using the story as an example to remind you to be careful who you let in your circle okay that's all it's not because I'm happy what happened to her, you know. Sometimes, well, last year I was like, man, I just want to slap her, slap these Kardashians. That can't they find someone better? Like they always after these people who have issues, um, addictions, and I know a lot of people do. And you, then you might say, oh, the heart doesn't ask or love doesn't ask. Not really, because if you're if you want to settle with someone. You better examine them. If you want to have kids with them, you better examine them. You better make sure they're they're what you want. Not not because oh now you're gonna do it for you know for this or for that or because they have this and that. And plus these girls are so well off, you know. And I know it's like they're in the eye of everybody, and it's hard. Everybody looks at them. But I just find it so funny that they're always uh, ending up with these people who are so messed up. And they always like use them in a way. And I know they always use the story and they get better and stronger. That's what the family is for. But I feel like they never learn their lesson. You just, it comes to a point where you have to learn your lesson. You know, you, you have to learn the lesson. You have to just let go and say enough is enough. Especially when there's kids involved. Mm. It's the worst. It's so hard. It's easier to say bye when there's no kids involved. 
but when there's kids involved, you like gotta swallow everything. Sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. But sometimes enough is enough. You have to have some self-respect, especially if you're in the eye and in the public eye. A lot of girls look up to you. You gotta show some self-respect, you know. Now back to best friends. In my opinion, every time I saw the show, every time they showed Jordan's face, I always knew that she was jealous at Kylie. I don't know if it's true, the whole story behind what happened. <clears throat> but apparently it is true. Um, I guess it's... I guess it's uh, normal, they say, or natural for some, for a friend to be jealous at you when they see you so well off. But she did profit from that as well, like a lot. She has her own brand. She's a brand now. She's like very um, successful as well. She's a model. She's beautiful. Um, and Kali didn't get all that on her own, obviously. She's got her mother. But I'm just saying, there's some lines you just don't cross. And I was, it was obvious she was always jealous at her. But I never said it to anyone, I just knew it. I, I guess I understand body language a lot um, and how people react because I've seen it in my own life. Um, I had to, like I made a video on the other day, uh, my, my main channel, how I had to uh, cut off a friend of mine who I thought I was best friend with because she, um, she wanted my life. She wanted everything that I had and everything that was going on for me she was jealous and envious of me and i was like what's gonna be next my husband and so i just i blocked her in all social media i just cut lines with her like forever i know it's not mature to do but that i knew that that is what was going to work for our relationship at that time so i just had to cut it off you know I'm not saying that's what you should do, but that's what works for me. And it's hard. It's easier for, uh, well, not really. It depends on how old you are and how mature you are. But I guess for Kylie, who's so young, it's going to be probably so harder. Because, dude, you're like... You went everywhere with that best friend. That you consider the best friend. And they end up sleeping with your... Basically brother-in-law <laughs> bad so bad very low very low um you just gotta be careful who you let uh who you let come around you you know there's nothing wrong and usually it's the people who you never think they would do you know they're very quiet I've come to a point where now I, I pray, I've been praying that God will send me the right people um, that I can bless, that I can be a blessing to, that I can trust, um, but not trust them to a point where I'm going to trust them more than trust God. Good. Come here, did you hear the story? There you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Did you hear the story? I'm sharing about that. The cheating. Oh no. Yeah. See? That's why we don't have friends. Best friends. That's it. I keep him tied next to me. Oh, mm -hmm. Can't trust anyone today. He brought me hot chocolate. I think I'm just gonna have half of this. I gotta go now. But anyway, be careful who you let in your circle. Because you never know. And if you have a good friend, it's nothing wrong to keep an eye on. You know? But it's hard because when you trust, fully trust someone, you don't think about that stuff. 
You don't think, oh no, it will never happen. Apparently it is. Everyone. It's happening everywhere. Don't give her the donut yet. She has to finish her food. This is it. Subscribe and give this video a like. Alright, and be careful who you let in your circle. Bye.